pants spread out on the dash. Running man, how I get to the cash? Hey, this hey, polo's Gucci, no Lauren. Uh, she said I'm too fly, be touring. Hey, Wrist looking like I poured it. Flat, James flat, Harden, how I'm scoring. Uh, Riding the two when I hit to the bush. Eyes low, I be off for the cuz. BB's on, all I feel is the lugs. Pockets full, she look like a buck. And hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the College Hoops 2K8 Legacy with the Western Illinois Leathernecks. Today we are at home taking on conference rival North Dakota State and they have Jack Manhattan and he's going to start them off with a three. It is now five to two for North Dakota State and they get that one inside with a little inside jumper and then they get inside again. It is 11 to four now and now an outside shot for three, 14 to four. Now another big shot and another three-pointer. Now Dixon going to get it inside for them. 21-4. to four. They just steamrolled us here in the first half coming out of the gate. Now 23-4. to four. Get it inside. James Bowman is going to go for the bucket. Finally trying to stop the bleeding a little bit as it's now 25-8. to, to 25-8. However, they would get that inside, make it 27 to eight, and Tyson Weber gonna make the shot. It is 27-10. It's more like a football score at this point. EJ Moeller gonna throw this one up to Gonzalez, who's gonna stop it and pop it for three. However, 29-13, and North Dakota State onslaught just would not stop. Tyrell Rainmaker trying to make some points for us. We would get this thing to 33-20, which is impressive the way it started out. Nice rebound right there. Rainmaker going to take another big shot, and it's going to go. 37-25 now, and they get the steal, and then inside, big-time shot. 33-25. There's Tyson Weber. He is going to get that one. Now a 43-27 game as the first half nearing the end. Tyson Weber going to get that in and the foul. 43-27 in the outside shot, no good, but Bowman on the rebound is going to get the put back. It is 46-29, half winding down. We take a big shot, and it is no good, and that is how the first half would come to a close. A 46-29 first half, really not looking good for our boys in this one. Tyson Weber from the outside trying to get us back into it. It's 14-point game right now as we get the block inside. Fundamentals helping us out big time. Rainmaker is going to get it. Rainmaker takes it to the corner, passes it over to Tyson Weber. Weber is going to pass it inside to Sidney Jones, who will get the points. It's a 12-point game now, which is extremely impressive, but... A couple straight threes right here is going to make it a lot more difficult. 14-point game now, and now we're looking at a 13-point game, and they're just continuing to score. North Dakota State pounding us inside and then shooting it outside when we start to cover them inside. EJ Moeller going to bang a three right there, but it's still almost a 20-point game, and another three for North Dakota State. They're just killing us. We get this thing inside there. Rainmaker and Gonzalez doing their best. There's Rainmaker once more. We get it to a 10-point game here, and now Rainmaker coming down the lane, and he would miss. And that's going to be a killer right there as Dixon going to bring this thing back. They get good ball movement, and they get the score. Something that we could have gotten it to about 10 points, but weren't able to do. Now it's an eight point game with a minute and a half to go, and Raymaker's gonna get fouled. Now we have a nine point game, and they get the rebound. Now Weber is going to nail the three. Look at this, a five point game with 24 seconds to go. Rainmaker going for it, does not get it. Tyson Weber is gonna take it outside and shoot the three himself. It is no good. And that's pretty much going to do it for us as Tyson Weber just could not hit any threes. Look at that. Couldn't hit that one either. It's a seven-point game now, and another one doesn't go down, but Weber would get the put back. And we would end this thing only losing the game by five. 86-81. I mean, that's not bad considering that this was once a, what, 25-6 to six game or something? It was an absolute barn burner from the beginning. 
And Dixon with 30 points would be the player of the game. Rainmaker ends it with 22 points. Three boards, five assists, and two seals. EJ Moeller, nine points. Tyson Weber with 20 and seven boards. 12 for Sidney Jones. Nine points, five boards for Fundamentals. And you could see the bench wasn't huge for us. The bench wasn't huge for them either, but they had 30 from Dixon, 14 and 14 from Jack Manhattan, 18 from the Sickus, and now just a little bit of recruiting, trying to get that done. And we'll take a look here as we play uh, Calculata, and we're going to lose this game by 8 points. So the season is starting to go super sour for our Leathernecks. But it is season number one, so plenty more to come. Tyson Weber leads us in this game with 17 points, 10 boards. Big game for Tyson Weber. Now, as you can see, we're just really not getting... Just not getting it done somehow. Every single time. There's O'Neal with seven points. That is a subscriber player. Now we will play Oral Roberts, I believe, for the second time this season, and we will lose to them. A seven-point loss. A lot of close games. We just cannot get these close games to fall in our favor. 12 points for Tony Medicine, 12 points for Tyson Weber, and 10 points for Derek Gonzalez. Not bad scoring for our guys. They had, it appears, three guys in double digits as well. But again, it was a very close game. They, We had less turnovers, but just shooting in a worse percentage. Again, doing a little bit more recruiting, trying to pull in the guys. We kind of have some kind of lead on, but we're 5-10, and 10, and we are going to play IPFW in the next episode. So looking at what we have left, you can see our schedule. It could be tough for us. Tyson Weber leads us in points per game with 14.3. Nobody else in double digits. Uh, obviously, rebounds is going to be a fundamentals type of lead. We'll look at the leaders for our conference, because obviously they're not going to be NCAA leaders. But there he is. Seth McDougal is the big man in our conference. But Tyson Weber, number two in the conference. There's Jack Manhattan. There's Dixon. We know them all too well. They just whooped our ass. And there's Vesicus as well. And there's Cedric Burton of San Diego State. So IPFW is next. Don't forget to drop a like on your way out. How do you think we will fare against IPFW? Please subscribe if you're new. Plenty more coming your way.